Hey guys, just made this quick video because uh, I recently updated my uh, my router to a Linksys tri-band. Uh, I believe it's model EA9200. Now uh, I have one of the surfboard from Cox Internet, and uh, it only has one Ethernet port in the back. So I hooked that up. Uh, previously, I had a Asus uh, dual-band router, and uh, when I plugged this one in, no matter what I did. Uh, was an exclamation mark for my internet but uh you know trying to go uh for my new router it, it's uh it's got the, the where you go is uh linksysmartwifi.com and then it'll take me through the steps as long as i connect to that to that linksys and then the password's underneath the it's underneath the new router and uh what i had to do to get the internet to actually pop up was uh I called customer service on Cox and I went through the automated messages and I uh, had them refresh my modem because of my new router. I had them refresh my modem and once that was refreshed, I had it disconnected from my new router. Once I saw that all the lights were back on, then I hooked up my router and uh, I put in the password that was underneath the router and uh, now it looks like it has internet access. And now. Uh, now I'm going to be going on that website, Linksy Smart Wi-Fi. This is the new uh, router. It's got six antennas, three built-in, three exterior. And then I have the surfboard. As you can see, it has one Ethernet port. And it is connected to the Internet on the back of this. And I haven't set up my other Ethernet ports on these other four ports yet. So if you look down at the bottom... That's where all the information is at. You know what? I don't have an account, so I have to click here and start a new account. Alright, so I was getting, after uh, hooking up the router and going on the browser trying to log in after I created that account, uh, I was getting a weird error said that I had to... Uh, connect that my new router to my account so the only way it was doing it was not through the computer I had to install the Linksys app on my iPhone and uh, through there uh, I, I connected to the default uh, internet which is underneath the router the username and the password once I connected to that then you you follow the steps through the app and that's how you set up your uh, your Linksys router and now you can see here I have it set up. I'll even show you guys that uh, I have internet access. So I'm going to type in my password. And the screen's going to pop up saying I'm going to choose home network. And as you can see here, I have, uh, I have internet access now. So I'm going to go and look. I have internet access. Now we can do a quick, uh, uh, we can do a speed test. I took down three uh, speed tests before my old router, and now this is my new router. Uh, let's see. Well, this is uh, this is actually Wi-Fi. So for Wi-Fi, 30 megs isn't even bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook it up through uh, through Ethernet cable, and we'll see. All right, now that I'm connected through direct cable, we're gonna run this again, and we should get a lot faster speeds now. I don't know what's going on with my camera? There we go. So I just ran uh, three tests and it seems uh, that I'm getting a lower ping. I ran three tests, the first two were five and the third is six milliseconds. Ping is just pretty much how, uh, how fast the response, your internet response is uh, when you send out a request. So lower ping, it's better, you know, when you're playing online or whatnot. It, online always goes through ping, you know, lowest ping becomes the, the admin or the person who's hosting the event because uh, their response and their internet connection is the most stable. So I uh, hope this helps you guys and uh, good luck.